hanging lining paper for painting over. All your work has to be really neat and crisp to give it that plaster-like effect. So when papering brown rebates areas like this, quite straightforward. Just putting your pieces on, cross lining. As long as all your edges, your corners are true, plumb, then everything will be okay. Cross broad walls. The joints running horizontally, less on the wall, better effect. When you emulsion it, any joints that are really bad, you can address them. And when I say full lengths, the first piece that went on, I took about an inch past these beams and I just trimmed easier way of doing it than trying to take it all the way up and then bring each one along cutting just take it slightly past the beam and then infill about an inch and a half piece at the top and then some areas take a little bit more thinking so the broad wall was lined horizontally Bringing that side in up to the top of the casing and then this is just a piece on its own and because this bay window was so awkward there was no way I was going to bother cross lining because each piece below the sill there is 27 inches so your paper's only 22 inches wide so I would have had to have pieced up somewhere at the bottom. So better way to do this was starting with the ceiling underneath there. Took a full length from the frame out, which left me a piece which I put in and then put a full piece in across the top to the end and spliced it bringing it to the end there the same and then with these sides these were both just full lengths put in to the corner and I was able to infill with one piece near the corner of the radiator there so just have a closer look the ceiling part was the full length running out to the joint just here so this was just a piece put in and that's where my splice is and my next splice so I had one piece running across you can see the full length that I put in down this side drop straight down straight over the sockets and wires was able to cut that in properly without having to put a piece in around the bottom. Slightly overlapped it and then put my next piece on. But these corners are twisted so they're not completely straight so you won't get an edge of a paper on there. I'll show you what I did with that on the other side. Now this side this was the piece that was put on first again slightly overlapped it and then feathered the edge back okay and then this piece I just brought over I didn't bother trimming it but what I did do was put some relief cuts in so when this paper dries it doesn't draw back anywhere it'll sit solid on this side you need to put relief cuts in and then leave it to dry if you try trimming this wet you get a rough edge better to wait till the next day when this is dry and then simply I've already started here I'll just remove that piece simply with a very sharp 
blade, hold it flat against the wall and don't draw back. Always using the wall, go push forward so the paper is, is forced that way. Don't draw it back away. carefully allowing the blade to do the work you're not over forcing it just trim that let's take some 180 sandpaper and I'm not after rubbing this too hard I just want to take the sharp edge off just gently I'm going slightly on an angle not straight I'm not really wanting to rub through the paper at all. This is just taking a sharp edge off. I'll we'll take a look. It's more rounded now. Best way to get a really good neat edge, especially when these are twisted. The same method applied on this chimney breast. Oh, bottom part of this bead the on the angle on the corner is twisted. Damage there. So it was slightly kinked here. When I put this piece on, it started to run out. So, cutting it, and then same again. When painting these bays, as a rule, this ceiling would be finished the same as the main ceiling. But because this is a textured ceiling, then you know I'm not gonna do it white. I'm just going to match this in with the walls. These radiator brackets I had to paint as well because they'd previously been papered over and they'd started to rust. So I'll just use a metal primer on those and I'll match that in with the colour of the wall. And then we'll have a look at this when it's finished. <laughs> 